Police and the state's attorney are still considering what additional charges might be brought in the case against Cheshire homicide suspects Stephen Hayes and Joshua Komiserjewski. At the time of the homicides, Komiserjewski lived at 840 North Brookvale Road in Cheshire, only one and a half miles from the victim's house. Joshua Komiserjewski is listed as a minimum security offender with minimal violence history. In 2002, he was charged with six counts of burglary and larceny in connection with burglaries of Cheshire homes. He was accused of entering houses at night while residents slept and of stealing several thousands of dollars in cash and property. In January of 2003, Commissar Jevsky was sentenced to nine years for burglary in the second degree. He was released to Berman Treatment Center in June 2006 where he met Stephen Hayes. Hayes is also listed as a minimum security offender with a minimal violence history. In 1993, he was charged with violation of probation dating back to June of 1980. In late 2003, he was sentenced to five years for burglary in the third degree. After a stint in the Berman Treatment Center where he met Commissar Jevsky, Hayes returned to jail for a technical probation violation stemming from drug use. Jevsky and Hayes were granted parole in April and May of 2007, respectively. The day after the homicides, the External Affairs Unit of the Connecticut Department of Correction issued a statement regarding the two men. It read, Both offenders were deemed to be appropriate candidates for supervised parole in the community based on their criminal history, which involved the minimum level of violence. They had been initially released to halfway houses within 18 months of their voted to parole date and were then transferred to parole in the community on that date. Both were on a weekly reporting schedule with their parole officers and had been in full compliance with the requirements of their release, including being employed on a full-time basis. Dr. William A. Pettit, Jr. remained in serious but stable condition at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury Tuesday. His wife, Jennifer Hawk Pettit, and their two daughters were killed Monday. The Pettit family belonged to the Cheshire United Methodist Church, a short drive from Cheshire Academy, where Jennifer Hawk Pettit was the co-director of the Richmond Health Center. Jennifer Hawk Pettit, a registered nurse, worked at the private school for 10 years. The Pettit's eldest daughter, Haley, attended the school from kindergarten through fifth grade. 17-year-old Haley graduated in June from Miss Porter's school in Farmington, where she was a standout basketball player. Haley Pettit was also known for her dedication to raising money to support research for multiple sclerosis. Her mother was diagnosed with the disease eight years ago. Soon after, Haley formed a team called Haley's Hope that participated in the Cheshire MS Walk held annually along the Farmington Canal Trail. According to her school, Haley's efforts raised over $54,000 for the cause.